Alrighty guys, so in the last video we saw that everything is getting sent correctly uh, in terms of the values uh, from the front end to the back end, so that was good. We figured we discussed a little bit about React uh, best practices and how uh, state variables are constants and so on. Now the only thing we need to do is actual is step one, we're going to save the value within the database, right? Uh, and step two is we're going to send back that new shop record uh, back to the front end um, uh, right and, and make sure that everything is all good all right guys uh, cool so that's that uh, first of all uh, by the way we haven't written any code to update the database but we did just redefine our model and because of that we have both the moderation required and common common moderation uh, oh sorry the common moderation and post moderation set to true we don't need this moderation required any uh, field anymore so we can go ahead and just delete it okay how do I actually Okay, uh, one second. I'll just press the update button over here. Uh, moderation required can just be deleted and it'll make things much cleaner for us, right? And true, okay. And update, uh, oops, update. Okay, document modified, cool. All right, so common moderation and post moderation. Let's go into our um, our backend first. Okay, so admin backend slash controllers, update moderation. Uh, let's just take this over here. Uh, let shop name, okay. okay. Right, because this is almost the same as our, as our update function for when you, press, when you press save. Okay, it's gonna say let shop name equals rec.params.username. Uh, does it exist? If so, rec.params.username. to lowercase and else just do an empty string okay console.log shop name is blank shop.find1 shopify domain shop name dot exec error shop okay hmm. okay settings page um, let's see over here res.json shop oh oops we need to do the update function over here okay so update um how do we actually do a save save function here oh uh shop dot save okay i think it's a there's a new function there okay shop dot find one uh, okay old shop control copy okay update moderation yeah i'm going to say shop dot find one else and we're going to say this is the old shop okay step one is pull that data out okay find that okay find the given shop I'll just call it and then return it we'll call the 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 value that we call that we get back from the database is going to be called the old shop which is the old shop version right and then we say old shop that save um, hmm, okay we're gonna say old shop dot blank old shop dot post moderation equals um, oh yeah rec dot body uh, you know what first let's take let's take those two let's destructure those two values if we look back into our logs logs for a moment uh, let's see where's our rec dot body I'm pretty sure that it was just uh, let's see. Okay. Okay. Um, right. Ah, it was off new settings. Okay. Equals rec dot body dot new. Oh, it, hopefully it'll just be on that. Let's see. Let uh, post moderation and comment moderation. Okay. Post moderation and comment moderation. Okay. Old shop dot post moderation equals post moderation. Okay. And old shop dot comment moderation equals comment moderation. All right. We destructure those values off of the HTTP request object and then. Uh, we search for the shop, shop, we update those two values, we save it, and then we send a response back to the front end. 
Okay, oldshop.comment moderation equals the destructured comment moderation, oldshop.save, and return res.json with the given shop. Okay, pretty cool. Uh, let's see if everything is still running over here. Did our server crash? No, looks like the server is still running. Let's go ahead and let's just go into our front end just for the sake of it and go into our, our component. Now within the component, once the data comes back, okay, we're just logging the data. Um, okay, console.log data. I wanna see what we did in the update settings. Set success message, settings successfully saved. Uh, okay, I think everything automatically gets, um, uh, gets updated. Uh, we'll have to double check if, if the, uh, uh, let's see, update settings. Uh, no, we actually need to update our state over here. Okay, so let's also set, set the state once everything comes in. Comes in. Set post moderation and set comment moderation. Uh, let's, with those new values uh, that, that come back. But we actually need to, to log this. I want to see what this data looks like also. So if everything is successful and, and the moderation is saved successfully in the database, we'll have a look at the database also in a moment. <coughs> then we just want to say... Uh, shop returned from update moderation func. Okay, shop returned in front end. Okay, in settings component. Okay, cool. Let's have a look at this. Okay, ran approval settings. Of course, just let him post. What happens on the back end? Oh, okay, that's cool. A put request was made successfully. That's cool. Let's have a look. And what did I? I think I just did. I just edited that. Let's go ahead and press uh, find and have a look at this. Comment moderation was true and post moderation was true. If I press find, hmm, did anything happen? Oh, yeah, I'm gonna go in this thing and press enter. Okay. Refresh. I need the re oh, okay, cool. Post moderation is now false. Okay, that's great. Uh, but let's have a look. But when we press just let him post, if we press it again and we press refresh, post moderation is still false. Okay, interesting. What about comment moderation set to true? Let's have a let's actually go in and press comment moderation, just let him post, and press refresh over here. Cool, comment moderation is false and post moderation is true. Okay, <clears throat> I think I'm starting to see the issue over here. If we go into our function here, we need to rethink this. <laughs> this is not such great logic. Let post boolean equals true, comment boolean equals true by default. Ah, okay, post boolean should just be what comment, what comment moderation currently equals. Mm -hmm. Comment boolean. We should just work off of state over here. And comment boolean equals what the, oops, it's backwards. Uh, post, moder post boolean is what, com is what post moderation uh, state variable currently equals. Comment boolean is what the comment moderation state variable currently equals. And also, and then we need to have a, and we're gonna update our state all the time and that's gonna be how, how uh, right? How to just, you know, close the loop on this. All right, I refresh that and I'm gonna refresh the database. All right, common moderation is false and the other one is true. Hmm. We also wanna do control shift J and see Right, see what data is actually coming in uh, from the back end also. All right. See, coding is like building Django, Django puzzles in the sky. Ah, oh, nice. All right, we got the database, we got the dev console, bunch of windows open at the same time. And of course, patience is a virtue. Oh, brother, they really needed to rethink this. We've got ngrok and Next.js are not the best combination. All right, so uh, comment, so posts, 
click it. All right, let's see what actually comes in with our dev tools over here. Shop is returned in settings component. Oh, cool. We got the shop over here. Mm, nice. And it's just a regular old uh, thing over here. Um, and do we have that where settings component? We need our stuff. Oh, there's our post moderation, which is now set to false. And we also have our comment moderation, which is now set to false. And uh, yeah, okay, cool. So both of them are now false. Let's refresh this. Now both of them are false. What if I press it again? Require approval on comments, for example. And refresh this. Ah, now they're both set to true. Okay, so I think the last thing we need to do is just set, set these, um, just destructure these values equals off of the data which comes back. We need to just take post moderation, right? There's a, off of the object that comes back. Let's have a look at this again, right? We know that this object comes back from the database. And we know that we also want to take off two things off here. And, and we want to take off the comment moderation and the post moderation, uh, which is the value that's returned straight from the database. And we want to save that within our React state over here, okay? Let post moderation and comment moderation uh, be two two values that we destructure off of data. Okay, and then all we need to do is just set uh, just use those function from React hooks, right? Which is the set post moderation and set comment moderation. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much all that we're gonna do. Set post moderation with whatever, and set comment moderation. I'm glad that we got both of these out of the way in one in one shot. Post moderation is that value which comes back from the database and comment moderation. This might actually fin be the lines that finish it up, uh, at least this feature. Okay, everything is all good. It looks pretty good to me over here. Let's uh, refresh it. Let's have a look at our dev console on the other side. And of course, have some patience. see what happens here. Oh. Schneid's bread fell on the floor. Okay. And let's see. Current setting. Let's open up the database. I want to see what's happening here. Refresh the database. All right, both of them are true right now. What if I press just let them post? Cool. It updated the UX. Community members can post without moderator approval. Let's see if that's true. Refresh. Yeah, post moderation is now set to false, meaning there is no post moderation. People can post without moderator approval. What if I press it again? All right, and I press refresh. Post moderation is now true, it mean, and new posts by community members need moderator approval. Correct, okay, awesome. Now what if I press the um, comments? Everything is all good over there, I'm gonna refresh this. Comment moderation is false now. Community members can comment without moderator approval. Okay, and I'm going to refresh this. I want to make sure that the UX works works like that as well, but it looks like everything is all set. And if it does work, if it, um, you know, whatever values are in the database are getting reflected correctly within the UX, that's excellent. And we're using best practices uh, with, with uh, React state. We're only updating our state once the, once the reply comes back from the database. So that's excellent. And if everything works, we're going to push it push it up to GitHub, and then we can get started on our proxy app in the next section. And if anything goes wrong, of course, our users will be our, um, will be our testers, which is also a good practice, <laughs> all right, for small bootstrap startups. All right. Man, Endrop and Next.js are not a good combination, as you can tell. The Shopify team needs to re need, should have rethought this. Uh, current setting, 
Okay. Uh, wait. Yeah, there you go. Everything is getting reflected correctly, so that's awesome. The comment moderation, let me see, is now false, meaning people can post however, that, however they want without moderator approval. What if I press, I do want to require approval of comments. The state gets updated and the database also gets updated. That's it for the admin app. And now all we need to do is just set our proxy app, but that's okay, one thing at a time. Let's do a git at all. Git at all. Git commit dash m. Um, let's see, git commit that. You know what? Let's just do um, just a sanity tab. Uh, see, npm start. Ah, we also needed to. Uh, let's just save save the community. Our community name. Let me make sure that the other feature also works. Hmm. Update settings. Okay. Once we update settings, we, we get the, the message saying everything is good. And let me refresh this. It's always good. Uh, our community name. Okay, cool. So that other function also works. So I think it's pretty much safe to go ahead and just save everything. Get add all. Get commit dash M. Okay, so what do we say over here? This is uh, saying that everything is good. So get commit dash M. Okay, so we could say moderator can set, um, can, uh, oh sorry, store admin can set moderation on both the comment and post level and UX plus database front end, right, UX, U Front end UI plus database are updated correctly, plus update settings, general function also, general function also passes. Okay. Git at all, git commit dash m, git, git branch, okay, and git push origin. Spanking new feature. Okay, cool guys. So everything works works on this end in the next uh, in the next parts We're gonna go ahead and just implement this into the proxy app itself. By the way, the proxy app talks to the same database uh, That the admin app talks to so as and we've already verified that everything is good within our uh, Within our main database. If you have any questions along the way feel free to reach out and I'll see you in the next ones